Um, from a physical standpoint, um, which I'm sure everybody's worried about, it's um, I'm I'm firing on all cylinders. You know, I've um, I've teamed up with Shane McGuigan, um, who's you know brought a new lease of life into me. You know, I've done um, a lot of hard training over many many years, uh, 25 years to be precise. I've been you know in the gym working hard, and it got to a stage where you know I needed a change. You know, the, I think it was a it was a telltale sign with the injuries that I continue to get. There needs to be something. Something needs to be adjusted. So, um, um, since I've teamed up with um, Shane, things have gone, in my opinion, from strength to strength. Physically, uh, timing-wise, uh, pushing weights, uh, stamina, punch variety, punch volume, everything is in, is gone through the roof. And I'm I feel like a, a young fighter again. I'm 35 years old now, so I'm no spring chicken, but I feel like I did when I was, you know, 26, 27. I really feel, feel like I really wound the clock back, and um, I'm just I'm feeling great, and I'm looking forward to getting in the ring, and hearing the the, the fans get excited again. We'll, we'll we'll see on January 16th, you know, uh, whether the Dominator can dominate the Haymaker. I I very much doubt that. Um, I'm. Uh, I've been out of the ring for three and a half years, so there may be some question marks. Maybe um, he's going to get some confidence from the fact that I've been inactive for so long. I wanted, I wanted someone who, for people to get excited about. You know, he looks the part. You know, he can punch. Okay, let's just let's, let's do it. You know, if I'm going to do it, let's do it properly. You know, there's no reason why I'm going to need two, two fights against complete you know, nobodies before I can get back in there. I believe, and if I'm doing what I'm doing in the gym in the fight January 16th, I'll be better than I used to be. And if that's the case, let's, 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 let's roll with it. And my strength has gone through the roof. I always had power, but now it's gone to another level. My technique, my stamina, it's, yeah, I've got a good record. And, and as uh, people will know, I haven't fought guys like David Hay. I haven't been at the top and it's been frustrating, but maybe it's been a blessing that it's finally happening at this point in my life. I'm 33. Many sports, they might say, that, well, that's a little bit old. But at heavyweight boxing, 30s is your prime. And with this guy behind me, and the training I've been doing, and the preparation I've got for this fight, of course, there's a script there. This is David Hayes' comeback fight. This is the chance for him to regain you know, his world ranking and get back in there. But as I said, every dog has its day. And it, and it just takes someone like me that's a little bit sick in the head that doesn't believe that I'm, I'm here as a sacrificial lamb and someone that's ready to go that extra mile and put him in a position where he wonders, I'm a millionaire, I'm famous, do I really need this? And, and that's the position I want to put him in, in the fight. And I guess that'll add to questions for him and for me. Guys, all up this side. Guys, both of you over here. Let's wait, forget, forget. Thank you, Sam. Sam, Brother, he'll probably share some more. You've actually said quite a lot. Um...